Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play of Crystal Warriors for the Sega Game Gear. Initial party only. That's gonna make this map um, pretty difficult because uh, the enemies, uh, they're all fire, or well, most of them are all fire uh, elemental, including the boss, uh, the fire elemental warlord. So yeah, we're gonna get the fire crystal out of this one. But they're not um, hindered by the desert terrain. Uh, so they'll be able to move pretty freely where our uh, characters are going to kind of uh, have their movement reduced as they walk over the fire. Uh, that's an issue because the enemies are going to come over like they're going to split their forces. Some are going to go down and left and some are going to go left and then down. And if we ain't blocking off both approaches, um, one of the enemies is going to sneak by and take over our fort. And that's an instant game over just as if the princess was defeated. So a majority of our characters are going to head up to uh, the north because that's where a majority of the enemy's forces are going to go. We're going to send our healer over to the right and another character so the healer will set up um, kills and then the other character will swoop in and get the experience because our healer doesn't need that uh, experience anymore. Uh, the mage can also, Murak the mage, he can also help out a little bit you know, on both fronts uh, being that he has three range with his spells. There's the phoenix there, that's the final uh, fire monster, so we're going to want to have uh, Dane, our water uh, elemental fighter, tame it. Then. So you can see that one guy is already moving down a little bit to kind of be sneaky. So, yeah, if we uh, don't watch it, enemies will sneak by and try to take over the castle. This is the only map where they seem really, really aggressive about taking over the castle. The only one that might be potentially uh, aggressive like that is uh, after the uh, you get the water crystal. Uh, sometimes, uh, if you leave a character on one end, uh, a, a, a one of their water characters may kind of sneak by through this water. But for the most part, enemies just kind of like to bum rush your uh, characters. So. I guess they figure it's easier to uh, take out the princess than uh, take over the castle. So, well, look. Elder will be hanging out over here. So he won't have any elemental advantages, but he won't have any elemental weaknesses either. So, plus if somebody does manage to sneak by, he can kind of sneak around because he is not. Uh, he doesn't have that issue with the water. So. There's going to be some healers and wizards here making things annoying, so we're going to not attack that other character there. Uh, we don't want to reduce um, that Russ's hit points down below 50%, otherwise the healer would just, you know, heal her up, so. We'll keep her just barely above that uh, 50%, and then that way we can finish her off the next round. Too bad we don't have our uh, healer over there to help deal with those wizards. But... She unfortunately has to hold down the fort on the, uh, the other side, so... Yeah, we're gonna have to use our, uh, our drain spell probably here eventually to... Well, this is a good uh, chance to use that drain spell because this guy is at uh, full hit points, so we got a good 15 back here. Put us just below uh, half health. Get another 12 here. That'll uh, put us at slightly above half health, so. Only problem is, uh, Princess doesn't have a lot of uh, MP. At most, she's only gonna be able to use that drain spell six times um, in a battle, so. You wanna always try to fight the enemy that's trying to flank us on the left. That way they have to, like, walk around us if they wanna get anywhere. I don't know if our uh, Eldor will be able to, uh... Ooh, yeah, we're too far, too far away to use Mirak to fight. So, uh, yeah. Eldor would have been, uh, I don't think he's going to be strong enough to uh, finish that guy off. So, unfortunately, that Brass is going to be healed by, our heal by their healer. So, yeah, we wouldn't want our healer healing their healer. Or their enemy, but... At least this guy will not be healed, because he's, uh, he's hitting the bench. Dunk. I'm gonna have to mention you've said once this side is cleared out, have Dane go over and get that Phoenix monster. So this Russ is kinda low, so 
Uh, probably have rats sneak up there. We don't really want to have Iris use uh, too much more of her health. Because those two mages are definitely going to be targeting her. And this is where, like, if we would have been able to have another one of those, uh... Levels for her, she could attack anyway and get a he finish out, but... Nope. So, let's get a little bit more hit points here. Hopefully, uh... We'll get 11. Hopefully, uh, he'll, he'll counterattack us, but... Hopefully he doesn't hurt us bad. Let's see if it was a gamble that paid off. Oh, nope, it didn't, so... Yeah, it did more damage than, than hurt... Than, uh, than what we healed, but... Well, we ran that risk, and... Well, at least that character won't be healed. So... But, yeah, they're gonna heal up that brass down there, but... Yeah, as long as we can kinda... You know, keep them occupied here, we should be okay. So... Do a little bit of damage. Because the healer won't be able to heal him up to full hit points, so maybe next round, uh, the healer and elder will be able to finish him off. So let's see, yep, healer's gonna heal him up. Let's see how much he gets. 54. Oh, he did heal up to full. Ugh. No Megusta. Well, that'll be a problem. We'll eventually have to, like I said, we're gonna have to sneak Murak down there to deal some, uh, some of that extra chip damage. Luckily, this, uh, Seth didn't have a high-powered spell. Come on, Eldor. Six. Another six. Uh, so 24 potentially he can do. Maybe our, uh, healer, uh, whatchamacallit, might be able to finish him off this round. Uh, heal up the princess. Now, the princess will probably have to heal up Eldor there. Because, uh, he's hurting. But we can have a nice steady retreat here. And as long as we don't bring that, uh, character down below the 50%, the healer won't heal, so... When it attacks our healer, uh, she'll deal a lot of good damage. And then Eldor can finish him off the next turn. So. <laughs> Let's get into a little bit of a mage battle here. Well, let's see what we, uh... 14. Ooh, just below the, uh... 50% uh, uh, threshold. But we might be able to finish him off with our two characters here, our two fighters, so... They're pretty much at full health, so they can take a hit or two. I think this guy was using Blaze, so... Uh, won't take too much damage with his Blaze. We can also sacrifice this monster. Don't 14. Okay, the monster is slain. But now Dane should get some good hit here. 11. And won't take too much damage, because remember, water is strong against fire, so... Alright, that should... Put uh, that mage in range for Rat to finish him off. Woohoo! Rat gained a level. Nice. Always good. Especially in battles where he's not going to be too useful. You don't want to win fighting fire characters, but that took care of the level 2 mage. That's the. Uh, he was the bigger problem. So, this mage, of course, still a problem, but Iris can survive basically like two rounds. Uh, against him, so... Moek's gonna have to use his attack. Yeah, and use the Peace spell. Peace blocks your characters from using, uh, spells, so... That was a terrible little fight there. Ooh, he's going after Eldor. Makes sense. I wouldn't want to fight our healer, either. So... Hmm. None of the monsters will be good, because the monsters will be weak against this guy. He'll take him out, so... Let's just run away. We don't want to deal any more damage. Although we wouldn't have taken any more damage that fight. I didn't want to deal any more damage because uh, I want my healer. The healer would, if that would happen, the healer would have uh, killed the Brast enemy here. We don't want the healer to kill Brast. We want Eldor to get the kill. And get the experience because the healer doesn't need. So just ran away knowing how much damage our healer would do. Puts uh, this Brast in range of Eldor to take the kill and gain the experience. So, yeah, 
play a little tactical there, so hey, that makes sense. It is a tactical RPG. And one more uh, character and he'll uh, finish off, so. Let's heal just to be safe, though. And Iris can survive, you know, another round of combat with the mage and the priest if the priest decides to attack, so. But, hmm. Well, the battle's going pretty, pretty good. Still annoying, but at least this way, if we attack first, we can uh, get a spell off, because that mage, that uh, healer's going to use the peace spell. But we gained some hit points back, so... And missed. Yeah. Wizards, you don't want them fighting, but sometimes, yes, you have to, so... So I know this mage has the flash spell, so not good to go up against it with the water character. So let's just concentrate on the healer here. Then we don't have to worry if we take him out. We don't have to worry about anybody else getting healed. But unfortunately, we don't have access, so Dane can just start sneaking over trying to get that uh, phoenix over there. I'm not in range though, so I'm not gonna be able to uh, summon it, uh, lure it over to take it over and uh, tame it. But ouch, no damage, even though sleeping. <laughs> uh oh, oh, ah, Moby! Wow, that's a pretty bad enemy at this point in the game. So, oh. how was it? How was it? But it's a fire, so that's what we, uh, whatchamacallit, has to be expected, so. Now, finally, we get to heal. Iris, time to be healed. So pretty soon, we'll be able to get a life spell. That'll be good, so. Alright, always fight from the left, that way they have to kind of sneak around. But two more rounds of combat, unless we get a critical or finish this guy off, so he won't be able to reach, uh, the... Our fort. Now, if we didn't have a fire elemental character here, uh, any other character would have been hindered by the desert terrain, and that guy could outrun them and get to the fort and give us a game over, but luckily, we don't want to go too, too far over. Hopefully, we're in a good position. We don't want to really want to aggro the, the boss. Now, we do have the elemental advantage over the boss, but still, we want to kind of go after the boss with everybody over there. Don't want to give him just one target. So, even though we have the elemental advantage, the boss is really tough. So, we do a lot of damage, and uh, we don't want him ganging up on our one character. Fire and flash. So, uh, I guess uh, we'll be good against that. Fire is good against, would be bad against water, but flash would be bad against water. Uh, so I guess, yeah, you're, you'd send your fire, so, because the neutral the fire and strong against the, uh, flash, the wind. Alright, Mira gained a level, now he's healed up, gets his MP back, so we'll be able to drain the boss. And, uh, that's where the boss's large hit points, uh, go against him, he just takes more damage from the drain spell. But, Rat, let's see, see if Rat can finish this off. Uh, just, uh, just in time, just or just the right numbers. You don't have to worry about this phoenix being finished off, because uh, yep, Dane is such a high level and has the elemental advantage. And now she has tamed all her monsters. At one point, she had the least amount of tamed monsters, and she picks them all up right here. Uh, finally, finishes them off here. And Eldor is going to finish off this Morby right here. He should have been like his buddy in the last uh, town who left was like, hey, after I saw how bad the Jin Empire was, I decided to leave, so. Alright. So now let's, uh, move our characters around. Healer, if, uh, she's in range, not a problem, because she can actually go, uh, toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Elemental Warlord. But like I said uh, in a previous episode, it's kind of, he looks more like the, uh, level 3, uh, wind creature. He's like a uh, like a werewolf type creature. 
Let's just scan. Unfortunately, our Drain was not able to reach. Drain would have healed our hip, her hip points up, but yeah, she has like that werewolf. He has a big axe. He has a big axe to grind. Merc's at full hit points, but... Yeah, let's, uh, let's use the Drain on this guy. He'll probably take off a little bit more hit points than uh, the Frost spell would. 21. There we go. And then next time will be uh, 16. Rat will not be uh, doing any combat here, but hey, Rat's already at max level, so... But we'll still want to uh, fight two more enemies at least. Ouch, 22. But we can get uh, 16 of that back with the Drain spell. So that's a loss of 6. And there's for another 22. Uh, so that'll put us to 19. But now we can use the f uh, Drain again. I don't know what Frost would have done. But just to be safe, we'll get some extra healing in there. All right, and we'll get our healer in here to do some battle. Let's see how much uh, she can do. 19, one more, finish him off. So, let's uh, retreat. And let's have Iris maybe uh, do some damage here. We can probably then feed the kill to Dane. Makes sense, she'd be in the water. She should take the water, she should take the fire one. Like I said, she still needs some experience, so... You can also, I guess, feed it to Moek. Uh, but we have a battle coming up where he's going to be really, really good and getting probably a lot of uh, enemies to defeat, so... Alright, round 10 clear. We got our uh, third elemental crystal, the second one from the Jin army. And what does our future tell us? A castle in the mind of an enemy soldier. I have no idea what that's referring to, but... Yeah, fortunes ain't all that important. Anybody can beat a wisp, yeah, for the most part. That's that first uh, level uh, fire monster. Yeah, what do we got here? Yep, we finally got the life spell. Nice. All the other ones we don't want, they're just level 1 elementals, but that life will gladly take that. Too bad Iris, uh, Iris can't get that, but oh well. And what do we got? Oh, we got a bunch of uh, weak weapons and stuff because we can get a new recruit here, which we will, of course, not be recruiting. Unbelievable, you defeated General Pyro. Well, now, maybe things will turn around to normal around here. Well, that's what we do. That's what the heroes do. We fight evil and, you know, try to make the world a better place. Yep, see, now we got the fire crystal over there. It's like a circle. The wind looks like it's a teardrop and the thing's like a little uh, diamond shape, the oath. But here's the, here would be the final character. If you're recruiting everyone, this would be the last one that you would recruit. Another Wind Ranger, Tyrus. Sorry, you can just hang out here and live the rest of your life peacefully in this village. I hope it's going to be nice now that we've defeated General Pyro. So, and what's also nice, this next battle, because we have no healers to deal with. Come back in our next episode to see us finish, uh, take on that enemy force. Bye.